Hi guys, this is me, and I never actually did an intro to this vlog because there's quite a lot of clips that I never got around to editing in to some of my previous vlogs and things like that. So I basically made a whole vlog but with lots of different clips edited together. So that's why I might have different outfits on or be wearing a different top and things like that. So you don't think, oh my gosh, why has she changed so much in like a day? So that's why. So I hope you enjoy the video. So I've just made their feed and I'm just going to pop down to the donkeys now to go give them theirs and then I'll do the horses. Hi Tops. Hi Bruno. Um, Willows. From there. Uh... Okay, your breakfast is coming. Come on, Willow. Good girly. There we go. So if anyone's wondering, we put Willow in this sort of little field shelter which I have in their summer paddock just so they can go under there if it rains and stuff. It's actually, you can see it's recently been repaneled because it was like rotting away. And the horses aren't in this field because they actually can't fit in here. It's actually only like donkey size. Like Casper would like bump his head on the ceiling if he went in here. We made this little door so we can shut it because Willow has medicine in her food because she's arthritic. There's more information about that on my donkeys video. But yeah, so she's just shut in there while she's having her medicine. And then the boys down here. I've just chucked in their bucket some fly spray and some sun cream to go on Mickey's nose and their fly masks so yeah just so I can carry it down a bit easier. Hi boys, are you ready for your breakfast? Yeah? Phew. <laughs> the aftermath of putting sun cream on Mickey's nose. Hey. They both now have their fly masks on. Anybody wondering why Mickey has a head collar over the top of his fly mask? He always manages to get his fly mask off and he has to have a fly mask on his eyes because he's got blue eyes. It's actually really bad for his eyes and um, he gets really squinty because it's really sunny today. If he doesn't have it on, lots of people dislike having head collars on in the field. I understand why, but he kind of has to have it on, so. There we go. <laughs> Very majestic, Mickey. Oh, over he goes. To be honest, I don't really mind them rolling this time of year because most people were like, no, your grey's rolling. But, well, even though Mickey's not grey, he's Cremello, but yeah. And a shake. <laughs> Bye. And now I'm just going to put on the donkey's fly fringes on their head collars. And I really need to get them some new head collars because these are the ones that they've had since... Oh, Toby's going to have a little sniff. So they've had these head collars for at least 20 years. They're the ones that we got them with, so... I, need, I really need to get them some more and it's really difficult to find ones that are donkey shaped. Like, I've tried loads of things online and stuff, but they're usually, like, really expensive, so... Oh well, I'm going to have to spend some money on that. They now have their fly fringes on. Hey Bruno, oh that's a bit close. Cute little tops. Hey.
not going to groom Willow, ignore the noise of the building work in the background. None of the donkeys have lost their winter fur yet. There's literally so much left on them. So I'm just going to do like a massive groom on all of them. <laughs> possible she's definitely looking a lot better There's still so much more hair that still needs to come out so I'm now gonna go and groom Toby and on his butt here you can see that he's lost all of it and that's because there have been some crows or rooks in our field who've just been sitting on the donkey's back and pulling out all their winter fur that's why he's lost all of it there need a little bit of a bald patch for a bit but should we groom you then mate yeah <laughs> away from Bruno but it's when Bruno gets taken away from him he really gets freaked out with his separation anxiety. It's okay, it's only there. How much fluff has come off you guys so I've now just put them all back in their field and I think it's about to rain it hasn't rained for ages so I'm actually quite happy about that being you know British that's like my natural habitat being rainy so hopefully then the ground will soften up and stuff so I can ride more and cross country and stuff like that just because the ground has been so hard and it's been so hot so I'm gonna quickly run back and lock up everything in the tap room and then go back to the house before I get like completely soaked. Damn it's definitely raining now. Oh my god that was lightning. Oh my gosh. 
I'm so glad I'm under here right now. Whoa, can you see that? It doesn't look as bad on the camera, but so rainy. It's like completely wet now, the yard. So I've got Casper here at the moment. I'm sort of halfway through tacking him up. And then once we've done that, I'm going to write him. Casper's paddock you can see them there now but anyway I'm here with a wheelbarrow because there are quite a lot of poisonous plants and things in the field next to their paddock so I'm just going to be digging them out with this shovel and I also have some gloves just so I don't get poisoned myself and I'm just going to chuck them in the wheelbarrow so I've just parked up the wheelbarrow very near some ragwort here Ragwort is often identified by its sort of yellow flowers, you can see, and often it has these stripy orange caterpillars. Luckily, we don't actually have too many of the plants in this field, just because my dad actually sprayed all the ragwort plants, but then that actually caused the ground to sort of become a little bit dead, so all the grass around it has died, so that's not that great. I'll just pick up the last couple few that are still in the field now. So this is quite a small plant, so I might just be able to use my gloves to pick it up. So I'm just going to quickly get off all the caterpillars and things, just because I don't really want to like pull them out as well. And then I'm just going to, there we go, pull it up by the root. So hopefully it won't grow back now, I've pulled it by the roots. I'm wearing gloves just because you can get poisoned just by touching it. So I'm probably just going to do like a little time lapse of me picking up all the ragwort for you guys to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!